Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the brand new Revapoint Inspire 3D Scanner. I have always wanted to try one of these, and I'm super excited to unbox this sucker and test it out. So I have always wanted to try out a 3D scanner, using it for things like sizing helmets, doing a full body scan so I can size armor or different pieces. So I was super excited when Rubberpoint reached out and asked me if I'd like to test this thing out. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is unboxing it, showing you what you get with the Inspire, and then we're actually gonna be doing some scans of some smaller objects, some larger objects, and then doing a head scan. And I'll show you how you can bring that into your 3D slicer and size a helmet to it. Now, Riverpoint is putting out the Inspire through a Kickstarter, so you can go to the links below to check it out and make your pledge if you're interested in picking up this really cool 3D scanner. Let's go ahead, open it up, and take a look what you get in the box. Uh, right off the bat, the box is nice, nice and solid. I like the design, very clean, simple. So everything is individually packed, it looks like. So we've got some uh, markers here, some little dots here that you can put on the sort of featureless objects to help the scanner pinpoint and map it. Looks like we got a bunch of stickers, stick-ons, and a cloth that's all nice and folded up. So we've got that. We've got a marker top, so this is used uh, in marker mode to assist the scanning of, again, featureless objects. If it doesn't have a lot of objects to sort of latch onto, you use these dots, and we're gonna be going over a lot of this. We then have a calibration board, and this, you might guess, is used to calibrate the scanner, that's right. It looks like it's got a little stand up on the back, so it must stand up so we can scan. So we'll set that aside. Then it looks like, what do we have here? We've got a little, uh, turntable, so this is cool. So you can put your objects on here, put this on it. So you've got some dots for frame of reference uh, and it'll be turning, so that's nice that it gives you one of these little guys. We've got a micro uh, USB-C to USB-A adapter because this does use uh, USB-C, which is great, high speed, that's what we want. We've got a handle here that's you know scanner handle but it also pops out into a tripod so we can use this to just stand up we've got our turntable and we can do our work like that so that's neat we've got our cabling another cable right here and then we've got the scanner itself nicely wrapped and this thing is really light. It's actually their lightest scanner that they've come up with so far. So that is really nice, especially if you're gonna be doing mobile scanning. Uh, so let's open this guy up and take a look. Nice solid design. We've got a USB-C in the back. We've got our infrared and our cameras there. We've got our mount for any type of tripod mount we wanna use, and yeah. I, it is, it's just crazy, crazy light. Um, this is gonna be really fun. We got one button push in the back to make it work. I like that. And one of the other reasons, uh, you know, the cool thing about this being so light is, one of the other things that they sent me was this mobile kit. And this allows you to mount you know, a mobile phone to this, your, your, your smartphone to this, and this is self-powered and you can move around with your phone and see it happening there so you don't need a laptop. So that is pretty cool and I cannot wait to test that out. That's it, that's what you get with it. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we are going to start doing some simple scans and uh, of some smaller objects and then we're gonna sort of move up to larger objects and see how the thing works out. But let's take a look at some of the tech specs that go along with this 3D scanner. So the scanner size is 132 by 45 by 27 millimeters, and it comes in weighing at only 140 grams. And of course it does have this USB-C connection with this nice screw to keep the cable in place. Now the single frame accuracy is up to 0.2 millimeters at 300 millimeters. Now the scanning speed is 14 to 18 frames per second for a more fluid scanning experience. It of course has enhanced marker tracking, which we'll see in a minute. And the single capture range is 230 by 140 millimeters 
at 310 millimeters, which improves tracking so this because the scanner can see more of the object. So we're going to scan this head that I've got and I've got it set to accuracy is standard. We're going to do marker scanning because I put the markers on. I wanted to test out what it would be like marker and or just without the markers. And I'm just got the object on the turntable and it's just scanning around if you can see the image in the lower left hand corner and then I'm just tipping the actual um, tripod and now just lifting it up and you can see I'm doing a little too fast I think so it's erroring here and there but in the end I was really uh, kind of happy with the scan I got unfortunately I was not counting on the fact that once you go through and create the mesh you have all the little dots here, all the holes from the markers, and you need to close those up. So I went to close holes, detect, and it detected all those. That took a little bit of time, and then you've got to go and select each of the holes. Uh, I do wish that the software had something that would just like auto select everything, but here it is, and you can see even with those, you know, corrected it's really not acceptable. So I went ahead and took those off and just did a straight standard accuracy with just the facial scan. And I'm doing the same thing you can see in the lower right, uh, I've got or the lower left, that the image is right there, the actual video in the upper area is with the infrared. And I'm just tipping the tripod and then lifting it up to get the top. Again, this is going to take me some practice. I've never used one of these, but you know, you want to keep your scan over there in the excellent range uh, so that you're not losing anything. And then when I went ahead and made this mesh, I was super happy with how it turned out. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, this could take a little bit of time, but look at that. That looks really sharp. It's got quite a bit of detail in it. And if you were going to need to do a print of this, you could a 3d print, or if you wanted to bring it into something like ZBrush, you could fix it up a bit, but a great way to digitize something. So now I'm going to do just the head scan. I was going to do a full body, but I need more practice with the software and the scanner. So my son here is actually scanning me. I am wearing a bald cap because, you know, it doesn't really like hair all that much. And I'm just sort of turning around slowly as he lifts the scanner up and down. And I thought, let's get a little bit of the shoulders in case I want to do something with the shoulders. And again, I need to practice more with this, but uh, I will be doing a full body scan because I do want to print some Iron Man armor. And here it is after I did a little bit of cleaning. Uh, terrifying to see yourself in a 3D form. <laughs> but this is me in the slicer. And now what you can do see is you can just go ahead and fit that helmet on that scan. And you know it's going to fit. You can go ahead and scale it up, scale it down. And, you know, make sure the eye holes are in there right and get just the perfect fit on it. And this is going to save me so much time when I do this armor and when I do helmets from now on, because I know it's going to fit my body. Now, Rubber Point is putting out the Inspire through a Kickstarter. So you can go to the links below to check it out and make your pledge if you're interested in picking up this really cool 3D scanner. And if you found this video helpful and you'd like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Leave a comment below and tell me if you're thinking of picking up a scanner and what you would use it for. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.